What is up everybody, Joe Everest, the fence expert, coming to you with an update on a video we did earlier this year regarding the treated pine shortage in the fencing industry. Before we get into that though, if you like this video, if you find it educational or entertaining, it would mean the world to us if you gave it a like. Also, if you're new to the channel, consider subscribing. And when you do, be sure to hit that notification bell so that YouTube lets you know each and every week when we have new content available. With all that being said, let's dig into it. This is Joe Evers, the fence expert. My family's been perfecting their way of building fence for over 60 years, three generations. While there's more than one way to build a fence, I'm here to share with you our way. Before we get into the update, let's recap. What we talked about in the shortage video is that due to COVID related shutdowns and labor issues, the mills really weren't able to keep up with the increase in demand for treated pine materials in general. Not necessarily specifically fencing, but also decking and some housing materials. Now what happens when demand is up and supply goes down? The price is shot up. When you are able to find them. It was a really sticky mess that we found ourselves in. But luckily, the mess has somewhat resolved itself. Now as of this video being shot, late August of 2020, we're seeing inventories come back. You're seeing treated pine again in your local lumber stores, your Lowe's, Home Depot, Menards. One thing you're probably not seeing is the price come back down, which is curious because the reason they gave us for the price increase was high demand and low supply. But what happens when the supply comes back? Price typically comes back down and we haven't seen that yet, but we can hold out hope. Another issue we've been seeing since the pine shortage video is a shortage in other fencing materials. So the people that were wanting fences built with treated pine but couldn't find it, went to a cedar or a redwood product, or maybe changed the product altogether and went to an ornamental steel or aluminum or possibly even a vinyl product. So what that means is we've started seeing delivery delays in cedar, ornamental steel, and ornamental aluminum. So while they're still available, delivery times went from three to four weeks to now we see delivery times sometimes six to eight weeks. And of course, the price increased to go with it. But one of these fence styles is just a little bit different. Let's get into that. Since the pine shortage video, the vinyl fencing market has been a little bit odd. So we're still seeing delayed deliveries and a price increase for standard vinyl. That's your six foot tall, privacy, white in color. But what's odd is what used to be special order, say a five foot privacy with a foot of lattice, tan or wood grain color, anything special, we're seeing manufacturers that actually aren't taking these orders at all. So vinyl material is available, as long as you're wanting the standard six foot privacy white. But if you're wanting anything other than that, likely you'll be waiting for a while. Now, as I said before, this update is coming in late August of 2020. Currently, the United States is dealing with recovery efforts in regards to Hurricane Laura and Tropical Storm Marco and the significant impact they had on the Southern United States. So the biggest question mark hanging over the fencing industry is going to be, how does this affect the fencing material availability? And I have to think that fences, decks in general are the furthest thing from people's minds right now. Obviously, they're looking to get their lives back to normal. I wouldn't expect this to even hit the fencing industry until early 2021 at the earliest, maybe summer 2021 at the latest. So what does this update mean for you, the homeowner? Well, it means that fence that you may have been putting off due to material shortages is now a possibility, as long as you don't have your heart set on a custom ordered vinyl fence. Now, you may wait a little bit longer for that fence, six to eight weeks rather than three to four weeks, and you might end up paying a little bit more for it, but the materials are there and they're obtainable. But for now, I'm Joe Everest, the fence expert, reminding you that good fences make good neighbors. 